Israel have been from of old, whose goodness have been watered from everlasting. From of old, from everlasting, praise the Lord. The knowledge of that one shall become the ruler in Israel have been from of old, from everlasting, praise the Lord. The world that became flesh, praise the Lord. Secondly, we're going to look at the appearance of God. First of all, we talked about who is God. We talked about how did he come about and for how long has he been existing, praise the Lord. <coughs> praise the Lord. Now we are going to talk about how does God look, praise the Lord. You know that if I could ask the question now about how God looks, many of us in our wild imaginations will imagine lots of things. Praise the Lord. In fact, when I was younger or before I studied the Bible and saw what God said about the appearance, I had this confusion. Praise the Lord. I, I couldn't figure out how God would praise God. God, praise God. God, praise the Lord. God knows that. You know, about everything, praise God. God can create this one who was seeing nothing. If I look up into the glass, I cannot see where he's made the praise God. I know this one I can't see, praise God. God made the praise God. And I began to study again and I had that this one is not just this one, that there are four billion, not not four, not, not four, not four. Not four. four billion. See, the great, great God. Hallelujah. It blows my mind, praise the Lord. <laughs> it does what? It blows my mind. I can't fathom it. You know, David said, This is too wonderful for me. I cannot comprehend it, praise the Lord. <laughs> this is too wonderful for me. I can't do it. I can't, praise the Lord. So, when I say, It doesn't say, If I'm thinking about how God will look, praise God. How God will look, how he appears, praise God. My mind is not part of it. I just see the one that I shut down, praise the Lord. That's how many people think, praise the Lord, about who God is and what God will look at, praise the Lord. Maybe that's what happened to them in India, praise the Lord. Where they worship over 3 million gods, praise the Lord. They see who, they see who is God, it's not who so people are growing rats. <laughs> some are worshiping holy. Maybe some are worshiping pepper. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. And some are worshiping maybe they are worshiping Buddha or Hindu. And then some are uh, okay. Uh, are God. But they are you know they are so confused. But if you are serving all these small small things, Praise God. Shall you know you are not serving? But if you knew. What the Bible says about God, praise the Lord. Then you won't be, you won't be having something that can't be smooth, praise God, or stone that kept up there. Like God has to do it again. It did not come and hide behind Abra. You got it? Abra, you got it? And they take you and they take it somewhere. And they take you to come there to, to offer sacrifice. You go there and offer sacrifice. You got it? That's the case. That is foolishness of the highest kind. Praise the Lord. How can you? Praise the Lord. You are too far away from reality. Serving such a thing. Or going there to offer something to me. Praise the Lord. How does God know? Praise God. Now, the Bible teaches a lot of things about God. Praise the Lord. And it is appear as well. This is something very important about not, not a lot of the praise God. What I mean by that is, you know, that if you go to the world of praise God, you will see so many things to show you exactly how God is praise God. Now, the Bible tells us that God made us in His own image, praise the Lord. Okay? Are you getting that? He made us what? In His own image. God has every bodily part that we have, praise the Lord. God has what? God has every bodily part that 
that we have. Praise the Lord. Every one of them, God has every bodily part that we have. Praise the Lord. It's important because when we are made in His image, the way He and the world were, okay? And the spirit, praise God. And I say, I, because they never change. Bible says, What? I am the Lord, I change, and praise the Lord. He cannot change, praise God. Whether it is his image, it's just praise God. Not that God cannot, uh, you can go to the throne and want to see his fire, praise God. You got to But it doesn't mean that God has changed, praise the Lord. You got to it's because he wants to do something. Okay? He wants to show you something about his character. Praise the Lord. But God looks exactly like you and me. Praise the Lord. Okay? When you're thinking about how God looks, don't think about, you know, some sort of wind that is flowing around in space, you know, that uh, has no direction or whatever. Praise God. He is like you and I. Now, first of all, we are made in this image. I will show you something from the scriptures. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the other beings he made is the Son of the Lord. Angels can, you know, they, they can take body form and come like this, just like you and I. Praise God. Angels are like you and I, but they want to be simple, they put it like this. Okay? We can start from the Bible. Praise the Lord. Angels don't have little wings, okay? They are not small babies with little wings like you see in pictures of Christmas from some people, you know. Have you seen that, those angels with baby wings? Baby angels with wings? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just said that. Somebody said, somebody said this, you know. A man of God said this. Okay, so. But it just comes to my mind now. Angels are not little babies with wings, okay? Like you see in Christmas pictures, okay? With Mother Mary at the center, her head bowed like this, and her hands, you're saying it in the, in the image, okay? Don't be deceived by this image, okay? It's just a picture, just a small illustration, okay? Part of our, what do you call it now? Our logo, okay? This is not Jesus, praise God. Okay? That's not who? Jesus, praise the Lord. Okay? So, the anointed man of God, Spirit, 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 one of his messages I listened to, you know, a few years ago, he was saying, talking about angels, you know, and, and he said, um, <laughs> all, all those pictures of little baby angels, <laughs> okay? With little wings. You see? <laughs> if you have any of them, throw it away. <laughs> praise the Lord. Angel with long wings, praise the Lord. But angels don't have wings. They are some of them, some of them, some of them do, okay? Have you ever seen They can use that if they the want to fly the cat. Okay, there are some scriptures like those in Ezekiel that talk about wings applied to some creatures. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Brother, I hope we are saved. Yes, okay, let's have the generator on quickly. Um, God created man in his image. Praise the Lord. And it says, in the image of God created he. In the image of God created in here. Praise the Lord. In the image of God created here. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. In the image of God created here. Praise God.
que le mettre là. Was it up to win better but in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26? We read are we on? Okay. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, praise the Lord. We read And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, praise the Lord. Let us make man in our image, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is what? The brightness of God's glory. Praise the Lord. 